Dave Mosher here. Welcome to Kennedy Space Center. This is the press media site, whatever you want to call it. Some people call it the press mound. Over there is the countdown clock, and yonder, a few miles away, is the launch pad. But I wanted to give you guys an inside look at the media center because you don't often get to see the hustle and bustle of all the press here. And it's kind of neat. It's sort of overwhelming, especially since this is the last mission. And I figured uh, you'd want to take a look. So let's have a tour. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Doing pretty good. How about yourself? Good. Okay, you have a good day, sir. Thank you, you too. Thank you. He was suspicious. So this is the ride into Kennedy Space Center and they usually put up these launch signs. You'll see one coming up here on the right. One day to launch, two days to launch, there you go. But off on the horizon there's that gigantic vertical assembly building you've seen before. And it just sort of sits on the horizon, it's so big. It doesn't really get smaller or bigger as you get close to it. Parking lot, full of news trucks. End to end. Not sure what's going to happen to these buildings after the last shuttle mission, but uh, it's going to be kind of quiet for the next few years. Reuters has got one too, and also the uh, European Space Agency right there, and there's the CBS building. That's the uh, main press center over there, and this is where the magic happens. And this is the NASA News and Media Center. Full of rows of desks. Wow, what time are you going back tomorrow? These are the desks where a lot of reporters sit during the mission. Is Mike Jess still in there? Empty right now because it's the end of the day. It's a space shuttle mock up. Uh, Reporters sometimes use to talk about parts of the shuttle if there's a problem. It's very big, easy to point to. Take me to your leader. This is a mock-up of Robonaut here. Obviously not functional, just a prop. Around launch time, this is the most important screen in the room. This is the weather. And that right there is the vertical assembly building. That's where they fit and prepare the shuttle for launch and then it rolls out it takes about seven hours on a giant tractor mobile thing and it goes all the way out to the launch pad here let me zoom in apologies for the crap quality but that's the launch pad out there and over here we have the famous countdown clock let's take a look and this is the closest view i'm sure you'll ever want to see in video of the countdown clock this thing's been here for decades. Weather-worn, very badass.